What is up you guys, Avery here, and I wanted to bring you a quick video. Um, I know it's kind of like in the middle of the day, and I know I said I was going to quit YouTube and never come back, but this was something I just now started thinking about uh, as I was watching Yugi Nono's video about the ban list. And granted, it was a skit, so he may have been more or less joking around, but it's it still kind of struck me as an interesting claim. Uh, in his skit at the beginning of his video talking about the, the January 2018 ban list, he says that we may not get a ban list until after uh, Flames of Destruction, whatever the new set's called, has been out for a while. And the sneak peek is this upcoming weekend, January 27th to the uh, 28th, if I have my dates correctly. Now, Konami has obviously promised on the ban list page that the next update after this will be no sooner than January 2018. Now, what struck me as interesting is that if people are going to start thinking, or if Konami plans on not releasing a ban list until Flames of Destruction has been out for a little bit, that's going to lead into February, which would... Honestly, to put it bluntly, would put a lie on Konami's part. It would make them look like that they're lying to the consumer. So I got to wondering about this, and I looked up the definition of false advertising. Now, false advertising is the use of misleading, false, or unproven information to advertise products to consumers or advertising that does not disclose its source, and then one form of false advertising that a product has a health benefit or contains vitamins or minerals that it actually doesn't, and then blah, 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 blah. False advertising can further be classified as deceptive if the advertiser deliberately misleads the consumer as opposed to making an honest mistake. Now that last sentence there really strikes me as interesting because as I just said a false advertisement can further be classified as deceptive if the advertiser deliberately misleads the consumer as opposed to making an honest mistake. Now of course Konami could come out and say oh we made a mistake we forgot that we were supposed to release it in January and blah 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 they can make all these bullshit excuses which is what they probably would do. But what is the point that I'm getting to this? Let's just get right to the chase you guys. I can guarantee to you if we don't get a ban list in January some schmuck, some putz, is going to want to file a lawsuit to Konami <laughs> for not giving us a ban list in time. However, the part that I think is interesting is that if a person were to do this, if we don't get a ban list in January, like Konami promised us, they might actually kind of have a leg to stand on. Now, I did more research into this, and I looked up, can you sue a company for lying to you? Now, the story that this person has here, you can pause the video and read it for yourself. I just kind of skimmed through it, but basically this guy bought a book from a bookstore, and uh, the store wouldn't let him return it. He called customer service. He was able to finally return the book. However, due to copyright laws he couldn't return the book now obviously this is a much different scenario but the whole point that i wanted to look this up for was if a company lies to you whether it be through an advertisement or through their website no sooner than january 2018 konami let's say we hit february 1st we still don't have a ban list could someone actually write up a lawsuit to Konami saying, you did not promise me something for your game. You did not promise me a quote-unquote product, so to speak, if we are going to look at the balance as part of a product of the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game. So I was looking through the comments here, and again, you got to keep in mind that this is a different scenario, but this person said, uh, put this behind you, it's not worthy of a lawsuit, blah, blah, blah. Um, you cannot sue them for lying to you since you believe what they told you was a lie. You were not deceived in any way. Um, and then he's like, well, you can sue them. Unfortunately, your suit would likely be tossed out of the first motion to dismiss, and you would not be able to find a lawyer to handle the suit for you. And unless the book you bought cost, costs hundreds and hundreds of dollars, it wouldn't even be worth your time. Now, that last sentence there really tickles my fancy, you guys, because the person says, unless the book you bought costs hundreds and hundreds of dollars, it wouldn't even be worth your time. So let's go back to the ban list here. The next update after this will be no sooner than January 2018. Let's say that we don't get a ban list in January. Konami does not give us what they promised us on their website. doesn't matter if you made a mistake or not. You should be, if it was a mistake, then you should have prepared for that mistake in advance and then offer compensation to your consumer. Now, let's go back to the hundreds of dollars um, aspect that I talked about just now. 
technically, one could argue, and again, this is all theory, this is my tinfoil hat theory coming out, technically, because you buy product from Konami, let's just say that packs cost you $4 a piece, and you're constantly buying up packs, you're buying tins, you know, you're doing all this stuff, and you don't get promised a ban list, and then it gets released after the fact, and you lose investment on the product that you bought because of it, could you technically sue Konami for that? Because they did not offer you what they promised, a ban list in January. Pretty sure February is not January, pimp. <laughs> so again, it's a tinfoil hat theory, but it's something to think about. And going back to the false advertising point of view, could Konami promising a ban list in January, no sooner than January 2018, and it does not come out in January, does that mean that counts as false advertising? Because the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game website, Yu-Gi-Oh!-card.com, is an open website. It is open to anybody. Joe Schmo, who doesn't know anything about Yu-Gi-Oh!, could come on here, click on Forbidden and Limited List, and he could see that, oh, the next update to this website or whatever this web page won't be until no sooner than January 2018 so if he wanted to get into the game he would know that this month he would be having to deal with a new ban list or a new product if you want to look at it as a product or an update to the game as a whole if Konami does not give us that in January is that technically false advertising and if it is could you sue them for it under the grounds that you were promised something in the game that the company did not deliver on. Let's let's make it a more broad uh, example here. I work at a grocery store. Let's say you come into you come into the grocery store I work at and you're looking for I don't know um, eggs. You're looking for uh, a dozen. You're looking for a pack of a dozen eggs, and we say, oh, we're gonna have those in no later than seven days from now. No later than seven days. So let's say you come in um, all seven of those days, for whatever reason. You come in all seven days. We don't have it. We come in on the eighth day, and we have it, and you get mad at us. Sure, we could say, oh, there was an error. We were off by a day. However, shouldn't the company prepare for errors like that? Shouldn't they at least tell you in advance, oh, hey, we might expect a delay. Konami has not done anything like this, and it's almost the end of January. It's day 23 of January. They only have basically a week to give us the list. So are they really going to wait until after the sneak peek right at January 30th to give us the list? I mean, if they are, then yeah, they're just assholes to wait until the end of the month. But, <laughs> I mean, if they wait until February, then they've lied to us. And that's the big thing. If January 30th, we don't get a list, the moment it hits midnight and it's February 1st, Konami has lied to us, period. Without releasing a statement saying, oh, hey, we are expect a delay on the list, then it's, it's a flat-out lie. <laughs> you know, they can say, oh, there was an error on our website, the website was down, we got DDoS, blah, blah, blah. Why don't you prepare for that? Why don't you release a statement? Konami never talks to us as a player base as it is. Europe does much better coverage on their live streams than uh, America does. And this has already been discussed, and this is, you know, a public thing. This is public knowledge, and it's the public consensus. So, I don't know, you guys. This was something I was thinking about. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I, I Again, I know it's a tinfoil hat theory. If, if you feel like I wasted your time with this video, I'm sorry. But if you stuck through all the way, I really appreciate it. It was just something on my mind. It was something I was thinking about. Because, I mean, it is a real thing. You know, companies lie all the time. You know, oh, you know, uh, we're going to release this product next year. Next year comes around. Oh, well blah 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 you know just whatever um but i could see konami backpedaling on this ban list that they don't get it out in january they'll make up some bullshit excuse julia hedberg will come out and you know say stop bothering us you know we'll delay the ban list more and then uh kevin tour will release an article for once and be like oh well we're gonna delay the ban list her -der -der. so i don't know you guys it was something i was thinking about uh so Anyway, it is what it is. Thank you guys for watching as always, and subscribe if you want. I don't really know when I'll upload again, but I wanted to put this out here for the community to think about.